good. What you up to? Playing. Anything fun? I guess. You want to come fishing with me? Fishing? Sure. You're right. It's about time that you start to earn your cape. Okay. Good. Let's go get your pole then. Now, you do have a fishing pole, don't you? I sure do. Uncle Jose made me one. Good. Well, let's go get it then. Go catch us some fish. <laughs> yeah. I'll mount up and lift you on when you're ready. Where should we stand, Uncle Arthur? Down by the shore. Come on, follow me. Just by the water there? You mean? I can't wait to get started. You show me where, Uncle Arthur. You can't fish without a pole. At first, we need some bait. Are you bored? Been fishing already? I'm gonna use some cheese. Cheese? Smellier the better. Now, cast your line. Swing the rod back over your shoulder and bring it forward in a smooth motion. Use your wrist, not your elbow. Like that? That's it. Good. All we do now, Jack, is wait for a fish to take the bait. How do I know when I've got a bite? Well, if you feel the tip of your fishing rod just twitching, don't yank it yet. That just means one's nibbling. If you feel a hard tug, that's a fish going for the bait, so yank hard to hook it. This is a great fishing spot. Don't jinx it, kid. I think I got one. I see. I see. You see him fighting there, Jack? That's when you gotta be careful. You, you'll break the line. Best to wear him out first before you try to reel him in. Look, Jack, it's a bluegill. It's almost as small as you. We should really throw these smaller ones back. Give them a chance to grow up a bit. Can I take a break from fishing? I want to make something. 
Okay. I'm gonna pick some of those red flowers. I'll be right back. I'm gonna try my luck over there. Seems like he's taking a rest now. I'm gonna try reeling him in nice and steady. You gotta stick at things, Jack. I know. Oh, this one's a red fin picker. Not bad. Fishing sure is boring, Uncle Arthur. Yeah, I know. Boring as hell. But then, something happens. And you can get food for days. Really? If you're lucky. But until then, you just sit. Wait. Try not to worry. It's good for you. It's good for you? I guess. Huh. What are you making there? You'll see. It's a surprise. You still all right over there? I'm fine. Just want to catch one more. Then we'll call it a day. I think you've got a bite. Look. There. Got him. Is it a big one? And what? This necklace I made. Necklace? For Mama. Sure. What a fine young man. And in such complex circumstances. Arthur, isn't it? Arthur Morgan? Who are you? Yes. Arthur Morgan. Vanderlyn's most trusted associate. You've read the files. Typical case. Orphaned street kid seduced by that maniac's silver tongue and matures into a degenerate murderer. Agent Milton, Agent Ross, Pinkerton Detective Agency, seconded to the United States government. Nice to finally meet. We know a lot about you. Do you? You're a wanted man, Mr. Morgan. It's $5,000 for your head alone. $5,000 for me? Can I turn myself in? We want Vanderlyn. Old Dutch. I haven't seen him for months. That's so? Because I heard a guy fitting his description robbed a train belonging to Leviticus Cornwall up near Granite Pass. Oh, ain't that a little old-fashioned nowadays? Apparently not. Listen. This is my offer, Mr. Morgan. Bring in Vanderlyn. And you have my word, you won't swing. Oh, I ain't gonna swing anyways, Agent uh, Milton. You see, I haven't done anything wrong, aside from not play the games to your rules. Spare me the philosophy lesson. I've already heard it from Mac Callender. Mac Callender? He was pretty shot up by the time I got to him. So really, it was more of a mercy killing. Slow but merciful. <laughs>
You enjoy being a rich man's toy, do you? I enjoy society, flaws and all. You people venerate savagery, and you will die. Savagely, all of you. Oh, we're all gonna die, Agent. Some of us, sooner than others. Good day, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. Enjoy your fishing, kid. While you still can. <laughs> Who are they? No one to worry about. No one at all. Come on. Let's pick up your things and get home. <laughs> it's getting late, Jack. Your mother would be worried. Let's head back. disagreeable man and I don't want them to hurt him what did they mean about Mac is he in jail uh, no I don't uh, think so I hope he's just fine where he is like I said don't worry about them the world is full of disagreeable men that's why you got all of us to protect you from folk like them now, how about that necklace you made? You still got it, right? Yeah, I got it. Good. Well, did you like fishing? It was... okay, I think. It's a lot of waiting around. It is. Yeah. Boys get known. Great. We caught a fish and I made you this necklace. Ain't that pretty? Not the luckiest. Did you thank Uncle Arthur? No need. We had a good time. What's wrong? Nothing. Just met some folk. I better go speak with Dutch. Okay. Hey, you did real fine, kid. Thanks. We got a problem. What? I just met some guys out near the river. A fella named, uh, um, Milton and, uh, I don't remember the other fella's name. Ross. Milton and Ross. And? and they are employees of the Pinkerton Detective Agency. And they know about the train and they know we're here. Were you followed back here? No. They know we're near here. And they want you, Dutch. They offered me my freedom in exchange, they did. Why didn't you take it? <laughs> Very funny. Well, what do we do now? I say we do nothing. Just yet. They're just trying to scare us into doing something stupid. We have turned a corner. We survived. They're mountains. We just need to stay calm.
Well, at least it ain't your job. Ah, shut up, Arthur. Yeah, your job's starting the fights. You ain't winning them. I can scrap, Arthur. I'm just not good at homework. I can see. Besides, what do you care, Englishman? You've got no time for me. I tried to find your work, but then you're off cutting jobs with other folks, and your boy Sean doesn't get a look in. Guess I don't want to get shot, that's all. Yeah, you're a real fucking funny shit, Arthur Morgan, huh? Real fucking funny. Calm down. You better sleep with your eyes open. Yeah, well, you're gonna sleep with your chest open if you ain't careful, boy. <laughs> I love you, Arthur Morgan. I love you. Come on, take a shot. Come on, take your best shot, please, eh? Grow up. And let me come on the raid with you. Raid? Don't be playing coy with me, son. It's unbecoming. That bloody train you and him has set up. What you're doing out here, you're going to need guns. You're going to need men. Oh, that. So Marston told you? It ain't a big show. I need calmness. If I take you, I might as well bring Micah along. Now compare me to that oily toward again. You're a dead man. <laughs> Fair enough. Anyway, Arthur, what's your problem with me? In fact, don't tell me. I already know. You are threatened by me. Threatened by you? Yeah, my youthful vigor. It intimidates you. Does it? It's a story as old as the hills. The changing of the guard, the fading of the light. You're toast, old man. OK. <clears throat> And what are you? I'm the future. In all its glory. Oh, well, good luck. Good luck and shut up. <laughs> I want to get some rest before nightfall. <clears throat> Wake up, you lazy sir. What are you doing here, kid? I'm coming, John. On the job. I said you weren't coming. Yeah, well, Arthur says I am. And it's his party, boy, so come on, let's go. <laughs> Me and the big cheeses, love it. Can't wait to slit some bastard's throat. You sure about this? No. <laughs> Are we ready? Yeah. Train's due through tonight. All right, then. It's on. Charles? I'm ready. Gentlemen, let's go earn some money. Idiot. Hey, all the horses untethered? Think so. Good. They should follow on behind us. Are you crazy? We're gonna lose a wheel. Find a good spot, Wolfman? Yeah. Follow the trail southwest. There's a spot that's remote, but should still give them enough time to spot the oil wagon. If they see this block in the tracks, they'll stop soon enough. Apparently. Picks up a new team of guards in the state line, so. Shouldn't be too much in the way of guns to deal with. See, this is what I'm in. I disappear for a couple of weeks and you cut me out of all the action. Just the action that requires a brain. Ha ha ha. Ah, you're a funny fella, John Marsden. And my folks, eh? You had your feet up the whole time, playing sick, and fondling that new scar that you're gonna buy a breakfast in the morning. Hey, hey, hey. Slow down. You don't know what you're talking about. Bear left here, towards Rose. Stay close on this. Wouldn't want you getting scratched by a squirrel or something. That could put you out of commission for the rest of the year. Why do you have to speak so much? It's incessant. Go easy on them horses, will you? Plus, I've still got some blood in me veins. You old bastards have forgotten how to live. I blame you two for rescuing them. Far too much trouble for what we got out of it. Yeah. Takes a whole army of bounty hunters to bring in Sean McGuire. And look at me now, in the gunner sea. <laughs> Back in business, boys. <laughs> you know, my dad always used to say... Not the dad, no, please. Not oh. again. Fine. Damn you three. Sulky, angry, scarface. A right barrel of laughs. Yeah. So, knock the tracks with the wagon, then jump them. Here's good. Stop the wagon over the tracks. Remember, these are innocent folks. We handle this right, nobody needs to die here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Let's get it on the tracks. Whoa, whoa. Tia! Mr. Marston? Mr. Smith? Mr. McGuire! Ha! 
Get over there. When she slows, order. And you? I'm gonna make sure she slows. That's do or die with you. <laughs> I like it. Get moving. Make that quick and join us on there. All right, get on that train. Hey, faster. All yours, Captain. We'll go on ahead. Oh! Everybody, stay calm and don't sure. sure. get shot. Let's go. Everything you got, money, valuable. Stop. There you go. Let's make this quick, people. Come on. We ain't leaving till this bag's full. Please don't help me. I ain't got nothing. Want to have a little chat with Romeo and Juliet here? Please, I'll do anything. Why are you? I'm What's the problem here? Deal with these two, will you, Mr. M? I, I don't want to get you. Honey, pay me. Don't do this. Just give it to him, Thomas, please. Okay. Come on. Okay. In the bag, Damn everything it. you got. Keep it coming. Don't be shy. People like you make me sick. These two seem to think we're playing games. I want to count to three. One. Two. God damn it. Sick is better than dead, lady. I'm losing my goddamn patience. Let's just do what he says so this can be. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a robbery. Let's make this quick. You boys need me. No. You can go ahead and look for the baggage car. Tough guy, huh? Watch out. You sure about that? Why are you wasting our time? You huh? show this son of a bitch we ain't playing around here. No. Just put the gun down. They Everything you got. Please. Money. Valuables. We ain't leaving until this bag's full. You won't get a damn cent from me. Let me hand you over to my friend then. Come on. Be smart about this. Money now! Son of a bitch. Come on, cuff it up, people. Don't be shy. Everything you got. Let's go. I can handle this from here. You should check on Sean. Okay. Stop, buddy. Okay! Don't help me. None of you folks move a muscle. You hear me? Bad man. Don't do anything. Please. I don't want to get hurt. I'll do anything. What is it? You all right? Fill the baggage car. For Christ's sake. You ain't even taking a look yet? There's probably something in here, Arthur. Gives you twice the chance of hitting someone. <laughs> Very funny. Oh. Oh. I'm gonna have a right old lump on me head. At least you ain't got a hole in it. I don't. Tennis rackets in there. Hush, bastards. Just keep your eyes peeled. I'm doing me best, all right. I know. That's what's worrying me. These folks are rich, all right. 
Ari, we should probably be going now. We'll take that. Come on, we should get out of here. Looking good in here. Some decent stuff. Arthur, we've got a problem. There's two arseholes on horses. How many, you say? I just see a pair of them. Uh, in that case, we're fighting. Horst, Smith, get ready. You may come out the train now, do you hear? We said you men come out now. There's only two of you, you fools. We got a whole lot less to lose. Why don't the two of you ride away? That way neither you get killed. Goddamn liberties. Eh? There's a few more of them torn enough. <laughs> Big mouth. Okay, let's deal with them. We won't tell you again. Come out now with your hands up. Look out on the left. Here come the friends. Ah! And we got more pull from the trees there. I can see what they call you the professionals in the outfit. Shut <laughs> up. At least we made some money. Hey, what did I get? Gotta be a hundred dollars here. Very nice. You weren't even invited. <laughs> what now? <laughs> we still need a real big take. Enough for us to get out of here. Was that a setup? Law turned up real fast. I don't know. I don't think so, but I'm starting to get nervous. You think they followed us from Blackwater? Maybe. They found me already near Horseshoe, but I think this lot was just locals. I hope so. I'm gonna head into Valentine, see if I can get something started there. Good idea. Either way, we should all go it alone right now. You know the deal. Don't be followed. Uh, of course not, boss. 